Infrared radiation is a type of electromagnetic radiation that's more commonly known as heat. And in this practical, we're going to be investigating how different surfaces emit different amounts of infrared radiation, even if they're held at the same temperature. Now to do this, we're going to use this piece of equipment, which is called a Leslie cube. And all it is, is a metal box that's painted different colours on each side. So you can see here that I have a shiny black side and a shiny white side. And if I turn it around, you can see that there's a copper side and a matte black side. Now we're going to fill this with some hot water, which is going to heat the box up. Each side will be at the same temperature, but we should hopefully see that they emit different amounts of infrared radiation. Now the way that we pick up infrared radiation is using a thermometer. And what I have here is a digital probe attached to a data logger. These are generally more precise than a thermometer, an analog one, and they can usually work a little bit quicker and stabilize more quickly. So the next step is to fill up my Leslie cube with some hot water, and this is just recently boiled. Now this box is going to be quite hot, so I shouldn't touch it with my hands because it might burn me. Therefore, I've put it onto a heat proof mat to protect the table. And when I spin it around, I'm going to spin it using the heat proof mat. Now I need to make sure that this test is reliable. And to do that, I'm going to make sure that every time I take my measurements from a different side, I take them the same distance away. And to do that, I'll just use a ruler. So I'd recommend taking your measurements quite close to the side of the box, possibly one or two centimeters away. Choose one and stick with it. So I'm going to start with my matte black side. Now, if you can, you should leave the temperature probe there for a minute or so to stabilise better, but I'm going to do it slightly more quickly. So my probe is one centimetre away. I'm going to give it a little time to stabilise. And I can see on here that I'm getting a reading of 30.8 degrees Celsius. If I spin my box around to the next side, this is the copper side. And I repeat the same thing. So I'm looking at it one centimetre away. I'm letting it stabilise a little bit. And I can see that the reading says 30.4 degrees Celsius. I spin it round again. And now on the white side, once again, one centimetre away, letting it stabilise. And that's gone to 30.1 degrees Celsius. So we are seeing a very slight difference. It's a very precise set of results there. So you need to be careful with your measurements. And finally, I'm going to go to the shiny black side. And I can see that this is 30.6 degrees Celsius. So there is a slight change in each of the sides. And what I see is that the matte black side emits the most infrared radiation. It's a better emitter than the other sides. The worst side for emitting radiation was the shiny white side because that had a lower temperature at the same distance away. So infrared radiation is emitted by different surfaces at different rates. And this experiment helps us to prove that.